Hi, I'm Mark and this is a quick tutorial video on the new changes that have been made this Saturday the 30th of August. And one of the major changes is a new channel reconfiguration. We made it easier to use some features, including Myriad 24 hour and IRN, uh, without the need going into Studio One and switching it there. Also a new way of going on air with this panel up here. You may have seen it before, but more about that in a moment. To use Myriad, uh, just bring it up as a normal fader. Um, it should be as default with no red lights at the top illuminated. Bring that up and it should play the 24 hour playout system when you uh, end your show if no one's after you. Uh, to bring up IRN, just make sure the align gram button is illuminated up at the top and you should be able to bring that up uh, on the hour with no worries at all. Uh, this will just play the news as you used to. To you, If something goes wrong on your show actually, you can bring up the tuner function which is now available on the board. Uh, this will play the radio station that's playing at the moment uh, which is 96.4 The Eagle. There's also a uh, some audio jacks at the bottom of the rack in Studio 2 if you want to plug some extra things into there. Just make sure the red light line gram button is illuminated and you will be able to play anything that's plugged into there. Uh, there's an LSO now and gram function. I won't talk about the LSO but the, the record player function should be enabled with the red light illuminated at the top and this will start the record player as you would normally in previous shows. The phono jacks that were located, well they now are still located in the presenter side and also the co-presenter side, you can now switch between them on this channel which is on the left hand side of the board and bring that up as normal. All the um, the Myriad channels are still the same so you can still play those and also the CD functionality is still there as well so no need to worry about any of that. Now there's a new way of going on air. Um, you need to offer the online studio um, to go to an offline studio. In this case when you first come in uh, you'll see there's uh, by the new racks in Studio One you need to offer the Myriad streaming service uh, which is on this rack. You need to press the, this white light to offer it to either Studio One or Studio Two. In this case, go back to Studio Two and you'll be able to then see the offer made by Myriad for you to go on air. So you need to accept that, but not just yet um, because if you accept it and you've got nothing playing, it would sound a bit wrong. So you need to make sure your 24 hour playout system is uh, running um, so you can hear it while you're off air in your studio. Um, once all your levels are properly um, tweaked up and ready to go, you'll be able to then accept um, the new the, the stream from Myriad 24 hour playout system. And once you've accepted it, um, you'll see that you're on air with the light illuminated. Uh, if you're closing up, it's exact opposite for closing your show. You need to offer your show or your desk to Myriad. Um, so what you have to do is bring up Myriad, press the offer button. Um, once you've pressed the offer button, you need to go back to Studio One. Um, Myriad will see that they've received an offer, but they need to accept it. So you need to go back to Studio One, accept the offer from Studio Two by pressing this orange light. Once you've done that, you're now safe to go and shut down your board as normal. So go back in Studio Two, uh, you'll see that the off air, the on light is off and you'll be able to bring down Myriad uh, 24 hour playout system. Make sure all your other lights are illuminated for the next DJ for the next morning. Um, also your AGM and a PUD lights are all lit up as well. And that's pretty much it. You'll notice that on the panel um, the no lights are illuminated, illuminated um, because it's not really needed. But those, those are the procedures. So remember you need to offer um, a studio to go on air um, and for you to go off air uh, you need to offer your studio to Myriad. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video, I hope it's made it clear. Uh, if you still have any questions there is a sheet in the studio which you can refer to that will explain how you offer an online studio to an offline studio. This will be pretty much the same procedure for Studio One as well when that uh, becomes available. Your Studio Two has to offer an invitation to Studio One to come on air. Um, there's also a Studio One fader, but we'll talk about or we'll talk more about that la uh, later when that comes into function. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. I'm Mark, and on behalf of Alan Dolby, uh, Peter Harmon, Martin Clark, Stuart Jones, and Clive Stevens, uh, we hope that this has helped 
uh, when you next come to the studio. So thanks a lot, guys.